<coughs> this is lecture number three, third lecture. And we will study about the characteristic impedance or generally impedance of string. Okay, that's the topic we are going to study today. What is then impedance? What is the physical meaning of characteristic impedance? Why the concept of impedance is important? Those are the things we are going to study today. OK? Let me review briefly we learned okay, to bring the reason why the impedance is important. Okay. In the beginning, we found that any general one-dimensional wave can be regarded to have two waves. One is left going and the other one is right going. Right going, left going wave. Okay, there is no exception. In other words, this is a general and a complete impression that is possible on one dimensional wave propagation. Okay, and then we found using mathematical operation, we found that essentially this expression satisfy the following relation that says acceleration that is d square, d square y dt square is proportional to curvature of the string. Okay. I think that sh should be uh, reversed. Sorry about that. That's what we found. Yeah. And then we argue that this is governing equation. In other words, this governs every possible one dimensional wave. Okay. Mathematically speaking, in other words, if you have a governing equation and boundary condition, this will determine what kind of wave we will have, for example. For example, if you have a string that has a length and uh, the boundary boundary condition at x equal zero and x equal l would be y is zero, no displacement because it is fixed, right? And that boundary condition will determine the possible waves. Of course, that waves. Have this, the, uh, diff, uh, have this kind of form, okay? And the next question is, 
We would like to know the role of boundary condition to determine the the possible waves, possible waves that is governed by this governing equation. What is this role? How to express and maybe the other how to express this boundary condition? Okay. To understand or to get the answer to this question, we introduced simple case that has a thin string and a thick string. Okay. And then we call this is a medium one. And this is medium two. And the possible way on this part would be a right going wave that I will write the G1. One stands for medium one, X minus CT, or I could write T X over C. And the other possible wave is something that come from come this way because of the presence of this discontinuity or boundary condition. Okay, and that can be H one, or I could write H one T plus x over c. And then the wave that is possible on this medium 2 would be only right going wave because there is no termination over here. OK. And I can express that as a g2 t minus x over c. And do you think that this C and this C is the same? No? Why? Hmm? C is a speed of propagation, right? And we never go in detail about the physical quantity of speed of propagation. In other words, how this physical quantity speed of propagation related with the property of medium. For example, density of medium or tension that is acting on in the string. But intuitively, we could say the speed of propagation of a thin string would be different with the speed of propagation of a thick, thick string. Or more logically saying, it's rather general to assume that the speed of propagation of medium one and the speed of propagation of medium two would be different. That is rather general case. OK? So why don't we assume that this is a C1 and this is a C2. And then we will see how the speed of propagation related with the waves we are going to study.